Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sally Jacks and I've got to speak a bit quiet because I'm at work and everybody's outside and everybody will listen in uh, to what's going on. So I'm trying to be a little bit quieter. I'm in my dressing room at work and as you can see, it's very plain. It's a very plain area. This is where I always get changed. So what I'm going to try and do is change and make it look that little bit better. Obviously, because I spend quite a lot of time away from home, what I want to do is put loads of photos and things like that around here. So I rem reminded a family while I'm down here as well. So I'm going to tidy up, first of all, and take everything away. And then I'm going to show you how much you're going to make that into a little sort of sanctuary for myself and uh, my family. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And please don't forget to hit that bell notification. Ding! You do that, you'll be notified every time a new vlog is up. So here we go. I'm going to do it now. So clear the mess first. So I've already sorted my photos out because I'm working with my dad as well. I've already sorted my photos out and I've already measured. So I've taken a tape measure. I've taken a tape measure and I've measured, if you can see, from right at the top down to the mirror. And then I've measured from this to the pipes and then from this to the wall to see how much room I've actually got. And then I've worked out how many picture frames I can actually put up. And I've worked out I can have 14 frames. So I can have one, two, three, four, and that's going to be landscape. And then portrait, I'm going to have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 13 altogether. Because what I want in the middle is a great big clock, and I've already got that. When you work in TV, obviously it's very important that you're on that TV set on time. So I need a great big blooming clock to be able to see that I'm going to be there on time. And this is um, from the range. It's called the Kensington. Um, I think it's roughly around about 20, 25 pounds. And I'm going to stick it right in the middle. First of all, with a microfiber cloth, I'm just going to clean it up. So I'm happy I've got that right in the middle. So now I'm going to take my pieces of paper, my blue tack, I'm going to measure and I'm going to mark out where all these should be. So these are my frames. I bought them from the range. Um, it doesn't matter what size you get and you can get all different sizes as well. So I put all my pictures into these frames and then what I've done is I've taken an A4 sheet of paper and I've actually cut it to the same size as the frame and that really helps for your template for when you start putting it up on the wall. So I've got 14 of these, some I'm going to hand landscape, some I'm going to hand portrait and I've just cut them out onto um, from a piece of A4 and that's when I'm going to stick to the wall first of all with blue tack before I actually put the pictures to the wall. Paper, as you've just seen, as I've just done it, I've just measured the photo frame, the blue tack, pencil, and also a tape measure. Now, this was my <laughs> little sort of jotter, where I actually marked down how big each area was, so to where to hang them from. So I need to just work out the top, so it's going to be one, two, three at the top, or one in the middle, two at that side, two at that side, two at that side, two at that side, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I've just put blue tack on the back of every single uh, piece of paper, which I know you're not going to want to see. So there's 13 of those, and I'm going to start measuring about what how many uh, I can get across. So I've just measured, and now I'm going to use my calculator, but that's on my phone, to work out how many and what the different spaces are that I need to put in between the photos.
what I've done there, if you can see, is I've measured out. So I've measured out how big the photo frame is. And then I've measured out all the indents in between that are going to happen. And then I've tried to line all the corners up. So actually, when you look at the bigger picture, it looks like a big square, if that makes sense. So they're not all higgledy-piggledy because they're all the same frames. It's not different. They're all the same frames. So it's quite a contemporary. Oh, excuse me. It's quite a contemporary look. So now... I'm going to get them all stuck to the wall, but my problem is, is that I'm missing command strips. So I'm going to have to do what I can, as I can, and then go and get some command strips. So I put all the tape on the back of these, sorry my camera stands there, and I put them all on the floor to see which ones I want to hang next. Now you can sort them out in order on the floor, but I'm in a rush and I need to get it done quick. And I've done quite a few of these gallery walls now, so I'm used to it. But what you would normally do is with the pieces of paper, you would map out on the floor before you stick them on the wall, how you want them to go. Then you would measure and then you stick the paper on the wall so then you know exactly where it's going to go. Then you look at your, um, your uh, pictures and you replace all your pictures with um, the paper that you had on the floor so you know exactly where they're going to go and that's how you do a gallery wall so you know it's precise before you start going ahead with it I'm going to stick all these on the wall now in replace for those papers my blooming camera switched off when I was switch when I was switching all those so basically all I've done is take the paper off and I put the photographs on that's all I've done but my camera went off and because I was so busy with that I didn't see that it's gone off but you can see how I finished it now now I'm going to clean up and put some more decoration around the bottom to make it look more homely <laughs> just down there i'm gonna to have to sort my shoes out but i've got a little thing i'll show you a little bit later when i take the camera off i've got my rack from primark tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy now i'm feeling lost without you and i just can't be without you finished dressing room you've got all the pictures up there you've got the clock i've cleaned all the area i've put my soaps pecksmiths but i'm going to get some stuff from aldi as well that smells like joe malone i've got a smelly around there mirror to put my false eyelashes on the buddha i put my perfumes there shoes need sorting out yet i've got a handrail with a glamorous towel on it that i've placed and then that is my home from home when i come and get ready